Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Lovo here. Uh, making this video today because tomorrow is 420. I have a lot of bud stories because when I was a teenager, me and my friends we used to smoke a lot. And just to let you know, I don't condone the use of smoking for teenagers. But keeping it real, teenager, a lot of teenagers smoke weed nowadays and have they always been. So anyways, I'm going to give you the, the 10 items that a high school stoner uses as a starter pack now let's get to it subscribe follow my instagram thank you this is when i first started smoking i was such a douchebag i thought i was the shit look at the face i'm making in this picture so item number one is obviously the roll up the ones on the right the cheap ones is the ones that i used to use for other people and the one on the left is the ones that me and my friends used to smoke. I used to have this setup that people would pay me $5 so that way we could smoke together. And then not only that, I also had people that they would buy pre-rolled blunts that I used to roll for them. So basically, I was both smoking for free every day and also making a little bit of extra cash on the side to buy my munchies and watch movies at the movie theaters. Now, item number two is obviously the visine and the axe spray. Well, this is pretty obvious. You don't want to go into class with your eyes red and smelling like pot. So you just spray yourself real quick before you go inside. Make sure your eyes aren't red and get, a, and get about your business. Now, item number three is your skateboards, your BMXs, and your scooters. Every time that me and my friends, we used to spend a lot of time at the skate park having fun, jumping around, doing tricks, getting hurt, busting our ass. Um, there was this one time I had to wait a few months that way I could be able to order this pro scooter that I really, really wanted. And then I got so messed up one day that I lost it and my dad was really pissed off about it. I ended up getting a BMX later on the same year. Item number four is your stoner flicks. The number one movie that me and my friends used to like was Mac and Devin. And the other one that me and my cousins used to watch was Tenacious D. Obviously, nowadays, people just use Netflix and stuff. But I actually had a good collection of DVDs. So that way, I made sure I was always prepared for when people came over. Item number five is incense. As I got older, I had friends that, that their parents or whatever would let us hot box inside of their room, but under the condition that we used incense afterwards to make the smell go away. And this is quite obvious. A lot of people use this to, to mask the smell. But yeah, this is a big item. Item number five, the incense. Item number six is an old Gatorade bottle, bong. A bong that you make from a Gatorade bottle so that way you could smoke the roaches that you collect over the day. Um, I used to collect all my roaches throughout the day and usually I'll be able to make like a roach blunt the next day or in two days. But sometimes I would just smoke them inside of the Gatorade bottle and it came in real handy a lot of times. You could also put a full blunt in the Gatorade bottle and it gets you really stoned really fast because you're able to smoke the blunt really quickly. Item number seven are the dollar store munchies. Now we used to be able to get one for 50 cents. Now it's one for one dollar. The price went up and stuff. But definitely this is a big item obviously because you're always going to get hungry after you're done smoking. So this is a big item for everybody. And this is where a lot of money I wasted at the bodega. Item number eight are the loose Newports. Now, when I first started smoking, I was like probably 14 years old. One of my friends that he was a little older than me gave me a cigarette and stuff. And supposedly there was this myth that if you smoke a cigarette right after smoking a blunt, that it boosts the high. Uh, I think that's just an old myth or whatever because it sounds BS. But yeah, it also maxed the, the smell. Now this is item number nine, a cranberry juice or Brazilian sticks. So basically I got in trouble with the, with the principal and stuff for smoking weed in a school bus after, during school actually. 
And so they made me go and take this drug test. And without the drug test, I would be kicked out of school. So what I did was I just stayed suspended from school for one week while I flushed out my system with Brazilian sticks. And guess what? It actually worked. I also had a friend that he lived by the cranberry juice. He drank the cranberry juice like every single day because he was always thinking paranoid that one day they'll give him a test. Now the last item, item number 10, is a, is a portable speaker. Of course you need a portable speaker. It, make, it, makes the, it sets the mood and it just makes you feel a little bit more tripped out, obviously. These are the top four songs that we used to listen to, me and my friends. Uh, on the top is the ASAP Rocky album, uh, Live, Love, Die, I think it's called. But anyways, yeah, it just hypens up the mood, sets the mood, puts you in a good mood, all of that stuff. So yeah, one of us always carried a portable speaker, and it just made the hangout a lot cooler. Honorable mentions. Uh, number one, Sharpie, Sharpie Pens. So that way you could tag up your name at all of your spots. I don't know, it's a dumb thing, but everybody did it. Four Locos, if you know what this is, it's the worst tasting alcohol you could possibly get. But it's also very high in alcohol. I don't know why this was the go-to drink for everybody. That everybody drank this when we were in high school, middle school. Uh, it tastes disgusting. I'm pretty sure they took it off the shelf. And yeah, only two of them would get you fucked up. And the last thing on this video is any sweaters or scullies from Zoomies. <laughs> I had I had a couple of the sweaters from Zoomies. They were mad expensive. And I had my scullies because I was going through my emo phase. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, subscribe and follow me.